Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. We had a lot of wind in here today, and it looks like it broke off some leaves coming out. <laughs> Springtime. New signs of life. Um, while well, I've been working on the yard here, got all these holes coming up out of the ground and they're the locusts that are coming alive and finding their way up out and about they haven't started making a whole lot of noise i haven't seen any of them yet but i guess they'll be here soon i hope they at least wait till after the draft can, can you can you do that for me at least so it was great having my man dmv back on our live stream tonight getting back getting another point of view and having another person in here talking because I get tired of talking. I know it's hard to believe I get tired of talking, but yes, it's true. Um, we're talking about the Cowboys, of course, because that's what we do. And I don't know what they're doing. I think about Jerry Jones, who went out and said, you know what? I need the best cornerback in football and went out and got Deion Sanders and didn't care that he was paying him a boatload of money. I remember with Jerry Jones going out and getting a Charles Haley. Yeah, he had some problems on the field, but boy, that Haley, he could get after the quarterback. And we just don't do this stuff. You see teams out here, now, whether it's right or wrong, Cleveland believes they're better off getting Clowney. Now, I dare say that I would, if it were me, if I were the GM or I was a defensive coach, I would have actually kept Sheldon Richardson. Sheldon Richardson was raking havoc in the middle of the field. Clowney, yeah, he's a pretty good run stopper, but he ain't exactly all he's cracked up to be. I think that that's one of those guys. He was the number one draft pick, but he's overrated, okay, in my mind. And defensive tackles like Sheldon Richardson don't grow on trees. Now, basically, Cleveland saved themselves $2 million by getting rid of Sheldon Richardson and signing Clown. Well, no, actually, it was more because they ended up doing the voidable years. And here's the thing that I don't understand is you have this new mechanism, basically, of voidable years that people are using to the nth degree. Yeah, you're paying a guy $10 million for this year. That's what they're paying for Clowney. But on paper, it's only $3 million. It's not that big a cap hit. You can do this. You have the resources. But for whatever reason, I don't, I don't understand this. And it drives me crazy. The defense matters. You guys can say, oh, well, Dak Prescott, is he's not the guy. He's losing games. Well, Tom Brady had the eighth-rated defense this year. Or no, excuse me, fifth-rated defense this year. You could look at the Washington football team, whose offense was ass, but their defense gave them opportunities. Their defense, literally by one player, I think it was basically one player, Chase Young, they went from 27th, only two spots higher than our Cowboys, to fourth. Four. Edge rushers, defensive line matters. I don't know why the Cowboys don't seem to understand this. Why they don't seem to believe this. Why they don't try to act on this. Defense matters. You can't rely on constantly outscoring everybody with, you know, a shootout. You just can't. We got 12 days until the draft. 12 days We'll be bringing in some new talent. Hope they get it right because they're missing opportunities right now to actually fill some holes 
and to get better. I honestly just don't know what happened to Jerry Jones, who used to believe in going out and getting the best of the best. I still, I just don't get it. Year after year after year after year after year after year, I've been watching the Cowboys. They always believe in linebacker, defensive back, defensive ends. The two biggest areas of need every single year, we always bargain basement shop. Safety and defensive line. Specifically, one technique. And every year we get eaten up by the run in the middle of the pass rush. I don't know what it's going to take to learn. I, I honestly don't. Sheldon Richardson would be better than anybody we've got on the line currently. That is a fact. And for those who are going to say, well, you said Don Terry Poe would be an improvement. Well, Don Terry Poe wasn't responsible for 64 tackles last year, 39 of them solo, four and a half sacks, three pass defended, one forced fumble, I think seven or nine quarterback hits and I think 12 tackles for loss. Just saying, played in 16 games. That, my friends, is what this team needs. So, it's late. I'm tired. I'm extremely tired of waiting on the Dallas Cowboys to fix what is obvious to make this a better team. You can't just have the best offensive football with no defense. I don't remember any Super Bowl teams that had a great offense and no defense whatsoever. It doesn't happen. Maybe they'll surprise me. Maybe we'll find out. Dallas Cowboys are interested in Sheldon Richardson. They're going to kick the tires on him. <laughs> yeah. If you believe that, I got a bridge in Arizona I'll sell you too. Hope you guys are having a great night. Crazy Corvette, I hope your sister's better. See you guys in the morning.